Hey, how's it going, bro? Welcome to another uh, YouTube video. Today we're gonna discuss about another gold uh, gold farming method that will potentially bring you from 15 to I don't know, like 50k or something, dependable the server pr uh, server prices and how much gear you have on your on your char. And we're gonna talk about a, f a mount called Garn Nighthole. Uh, how you farm? I mean, wh uh, what is about all this farm? You need you need two people for this one. You need uh, two hunters. Uh, specifically, you can actually do it with tank and hunter, but um, like a monk or something, but it takes a bit longer. This is how the mount looks like, and um, I'm gonna be explaining everything today of uh, how to farm, and since a lot of people on the stream uh, already asked about uh, about this farm for me to make a video, so I'm gonna be explaining about that. First of all, let's discuss about uh, like where this, is, uh, this guy is. So this is where it's located, uh, actually just uh, spawned now. So uh, I'm gonna show you on the map where exactly uh, this thing is. So you need to head over to Frostfire Ridge on the on the west side or on the left side if you prefer. Uh, get Draenor, uh, handy note Draenor, this is not Karosh mob, cold, and it's located in Frostfire uh, Ridge as you saw on the map. The talents we're gonna use for this, uh, I mean the specialization we're gonna use for this, it's uh, Marksmanship or Survival. Avoid Beast Mastery by all means because it's slow, it's not efficient, and it's really bad. Uh, the important talents are Post Haste, uh, Thrill of the Hunt, uh, the Murder of Crows as well, it gives some nice boost, and the Lone Wolf. Uh, I'm gonna tell you why all these talents later, you know, but let's move on to Glyphs. The only Glyph that you need to have as a major is Glyph of Disengage, and uh, the, uh, the minor Glyph is actually uh, tame beast will reduce the cast time. It will avoid some, uh, you know, some bugs and stuff and knock or So get that glyph. I didn't have it there, but it doesn't really uh, matter that much. All right. So let's jump uh, over to uh, talents. Lone wolf is actually a really good, uh, really good talent because uh, when you abandon the key, uh, the the pet, you, you actually get increased damage, and you can find it in a spell book. And you can select which buff you want to give to the to the party. I prefer, I mean, when you're marksman, you usually uh, need like uh, critical strike and or mastery. I mean, critical strike and mastery. So if you're if you're buffing crit, your your friend should buff mastery. You can pull, as you saw in the bars, any. Uh, I I mean, any of the buffs that you need uh, in the bars. So uh, that's basically what you need, and you need like two macros or three macros actually. One is for distracting shot. It's stop casting, stop casting, distracting shot. Uh, slash cast distracting uh, dis uh, distracting shot. I mean all these macros I'm, I'm showing to you now it will be uh, Put on the description later. So you will actually have everything uh, you need in the description as well um, So you need fake that distraction and the Tyrions basically so how this goes uh, first you need to trap uh, one uh, one of the wolves and your friend you need to trap another wolf so what you need to do is just uh, start taming one of the wolves, right? You're just gonna start taming and as soon as the wolves start chasing you, you're gonna fake that and immediately after that start taming uh, again. If not Karosh sits before you uh, finish this, the taming, you will fail and he will start uh, following you and he will actually one-shot you. So, not Karosh can never, I mean must never uh, touch you. Then you abandon the wolf, uh, do the buffs uh, from your lone wolf that you pull on the bars uh, before and after you buff yourself, you can actually go uh, and position yourself on the cliff. Uh, the cliff that we're gonna uh, that we're gonna use for this, it's really. Uh, I mean, uh, we need to be on the cliff here so you can actually bounce uh, between. Uh, I mean, between you and the other hunter with distracting shots, the knock Karosh, so he doesn't uh, uh, kill you, right? So what you need to do, he will pull. Your friend will pull, or you will pull, and use immediately disengage to get the sprint from it because he's really fast. And he will reach you if you don't use the sprint. As soon as he gets to your friend, you pull the uh, the, mo uh, the knock Karosh, basically the mob. You position yourself on the cliff, and he will distract from you. As I mean, before he reach you, basically. So you're gonna need to coordinate a bit, you know, train a bit this uh, this stuff. As soon as you master this technique, you're gonna get uh, you're gonna be able to get a lot of uh, a lot of mounts. I'm personally getting from nine to eleven mounts, dependable who I'm doing it with. I'm gonna speed up here. For uh, for a second, so I can actually show you how it's actually done. Uh, so as you can see, uh, we're basically bouncing it uh, up and down and up and down until it dies. Uh, make sure to use all the cooldowns you have at your disposal. If you're marksmanship rapid fire, as well, uh, your friend, as well. If you're a troll hunter, you need to use berserking 
or if you are orc you use the on you stuff on you trinkets everything you have murder of crows uh try to use as much as you can damage because uh the damage is actually uh, i mean the more damage you can put the more gold you're gonna earn uh from this one there, uh, make sure to also use fake that you know communicate with your partner for starters it's really recommended to be on skype or something so you can actually say all right i don't have distracting use fake that or something all right so as you can see we killed it pretty fast here i'm gonna later show you on stopwatch how much time it actually takes i'm gonna jump off the cliff and start to loot it but uh remember you cannot need on the mount uh so if you're two uh people farming uh once you greed uh, another time you pass you, you can only greed after that use cross realm assist uh if you're leader and queue up for group as i'm showing you here you see you have a lot of uh, realms you can use uh just click on any of the realms that are, are there uh, it will queue uh, queue you up um for cross realm assist you can actually check my uh, some of my other videos i have an add-ons ex explanation how to use cross realm assist and after that when you change the the servers as you saw knockerosh respond there uh you do the same stuff again as you can see three minutes 20 seconds it took for this run and uh, that's basically how much it takes average as i said three and a half minutes four minutes sometimes like that uh, something like that so after that you just change the server again and you continue doing the same stuff i'm gonna make uh, just one more run so i can show you how much time it actually took some stopwatch it, it's insanely speed up video but yeah so i'm gonna show you here uh, how it actually looks lo uh, like again on a stopwatch and if you have any questions about this farm guys feel free to ask them in the comments uh i'm trying to share this because many people have asked me to make a video uh, about this farm on my stream it's actually uh, a farm that i use it a lot it for some people will be boring but for me to find i find it fun you know because it's not the same shit you know just go and kill mobs and kill mobs and kill mobs all the time you just stay and shoot here you can watch some uh, tv show or just watch some stream or something like that anyway make sure to subscribe as well love you much no homo thank you for watching and humor enough